Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some activities you can prepare with Unifix cubes. They come in this box. There is an activity booklet with a few ideas. This is what they look like. They help children learn different mathematical concepts. This package includes 100 cubes. They come in 10 colors and there are 10 cubes of each color. They are great utensils for counting, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, patterns and so on. And now you are going to see a couple of fun activities I have prepared for my 4-year-old. For this activity I have prepared three different patterns. The first one is AAB, the second one is ABC and the last one is ABBCC. The child is going to continue the pattern in each row. Patterning helps children develop the ability of making predictions and it is important we introduce these concepts early in life. Next activity is similar. The child will continue the sequence but this time she will build little tower patterns. This is a bit more difficult than previous patterning, but as long as it is something new, it makes learning enjoyable. Here I have created two squares with the grids. I placed some Unifix cubes in the left square and the child is going to replicate the pattern by putting the Unifix cubes into the right square. This activity is great for spatial awareness, critical thinking and building logic skills. If you would like to have these grids, subscribe to my channel and write me a comment so I can contact you. This is my next activity. I have printed these pictures and the child is going to measure the height of each animal in the picture using the Unifix cubes. One Unifix cube is considered as one height unit. And then she is going to write the number of cubes, that is the height, under each image. These pictures are also available for my subscribers, so let me know if you want them. Here I have created these boxes for addition activity. They help children to visualize how the numbers are related. They show that a part plus a part equals the whole. I have written a few addition problems on cards. My child 
takes one card and she is going to put six cubes in one box and three cubes in the other box. Once she does that, she is going to move all the cubes in the box below. She is going to count them and then she is going to write the result on the card. She will start with the biggest number, in this case 6, and she will count up from there. So to add 6 plus 3, she starts with 6 and then counts up 7, 8, 9. And then you can rotate the same scheme and use it for subtraction. This helps kids see how a single number can be broken down into smaller parts. Thank you for watching. If you liked my video, please subscribe and press the bell button so you never miss a video. This will help my channel to grow and I will be able to do it for a long time. See you next time. Bye bye.